Thanks so much for joining us here in the Fox 4 Weather Center. Well, it's certainly been a hot afternoon. 96 this afternoon in Punta Gorda. Not quite in record territory, but certainly warmer than that normal, which is 91 for this time of year. Normal low 72, and we actually had a little shot of some drier air. That's why this morning started off in those lower 70s, where temperatures should be for this time of year. Of course, with the sunshine things warmed up very quickly and now that heat helping to fuel some much needed rainfall here across southwest florida let's take a live look now at one of those rain shafts marco island proper nice and dry it's just a beautiful picture perfect evening but as we look northward here looking up toward the naples area and the Lely resort area and seeing that very heavy rainfall right there the giant rain shaft this is what it looks like within the rain here from downtown naples this is a live look from our camera at the Bayfront Inn, where temperatures are now down to a rain-cooled 80 degrees. Dew point, of course, soupy at 74, and it's currently still feeling more like 85 degrees. Winds are currently out of the southeast around 17 miles per hour, likely an outflow boundary, kind of a downdraft burst, if you will, from one of those showers as it rolls on through. So let's zoom in here to our radar. A lot of us are sitting high and dry right now across Glades County, Hendry, into Lee. Very little in the way of activity on radar. A little bit more action, though, down here in Colorado. Collier still, though, fairly isolated, but from Lely Resort up to the Lely area right here, Port Royal, starting to see that heavier downpour kind of shift off toward your west offshore, and it is definitely weakening as it does so. At this point for downtown Naples, that rainfall much lighter than it was. And then in between Ave Maria and Orange Tree, very close to Immokalee Road, seeing that heavy downpour as well. That cell kind of working its way westward toward Immokalee Road and Orange Tree, so just a heads up there. Vanderbilt Beach, that shower is almost wrapped up for you there, right over the Barefoot Beach area. And for El Jobin up to Murdoch, that shower too continues to dwindle down. So next couple of hours, we'll still see some of these isolated to scattered downpours. While an isolated lightning strike cannot be ruled out for the most part, this will mainly just be showers that we have in the mix. We don't have much in the way of instability aloft. Now overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, we'll start things off nice and quietly. Just like today, sunshine, heat will warm things up pretty quickly. By midday, we'll see those partly cloudy skies. And then right around 3 o'clock, that's when those isolated showers will start to pop up. We'll start with isolated rain. Then after 5 o'clock, those storms will become a bit more scattered, a bit more numerous, especially farther inland. So with that sea breeze developing, it should initially put most of the activity right here at 7 o'clock farther inland. But as that sea breeze dies down, they'll see some of those showers drift back toward the coast. So best opportunity for some of that rainfall, especially between 3 to 10 p.m. So something to keep in mind as you make those Tuesday evening plans. Now let's track the tropics. After all, we are in the midst of hurricane season. The good news, though, no formation forecast through at least the next seven days. Exactly what we like to see. Now for our boaters tomorrow, winds initially out of the east will become southwesterly 5 to 10 knots. Gulf sees a foot or less, just a light chop for those inland waterways and bays. Morning lows will start off in the upper 60s, lower 70s. Farther inland, low to mid 70s, closer to the coast. Afternoon high temperatures like today in the mid 90s, but factor in that humidity. Tomorrow afternoon is going to be feeling more like the upper 90s. And then that heat index climbs into the triple digits Wednesday into next weekend.